welcome back to Caroline's Closet. It is time for another What Sold this weekend. I actually have a decent amount of stuff going out today. I had some really fast sales this week, which was really cool. I think six different items sold within a few hours of me listing them, two of which I will show off, three of which I will show off today. So uh, this is a local sale. It is just a graduation signature autograph dog sold four or five dollars uh, she'll be by to pick it up sometime today I don't do a lot of local selling but I had three of those and um, my plan was to sell them at the booth for five bucks and since the booth has been closed and it's graduation time and they aren't going too well online because shipping that thing is makes it not worth the time um, I put them up on garage sale and one of them sold so there's that then I have this professional microphone, brand new, in the box, uh, $70 on Mercari. I listed it for $80. I have four of them. Sold one for $80 last week, and this one they sent a $65 offer, and I countered at $70, which they accepted. And that is free shipping on that. Uh, that's Mercari, so let me stick with Mercari. I have this little dear daughter uh, it's a little envelope and then it opens up and has a little letter to your daughter inside I was never so blessed as the day you were born I love you mom this sold I just listed this yesterday afternoon and by last night it sold for I listed it for $12 and they sent a $9 offer and I just twisted it up while I was showing it off so let me untwist so that I don't break it there we go don't want to send a broken necklace so there's that and then also on Mercari and this just sold about 10 minutes ago but this has been listed since last summer we have this, it is a Martha Stewart giant chef pan. Uh, came from my Via Trading palettes last summer. Still making some money off of those. Sold for $13 plus shipping. And I think I just dropped the price on it maybe yesterday or the day before. There weren't any offers associated with it, but this I just listed yesterday. It is Penelope's Closet, size 3X Jeggings, uh, brand new with tags. This came from my clothes mentor, Massive Hall, and so I paid less than a dollar for them. I listed them for 18 and accepted an immediate offer for $15 for those. That's on Poshmark, and then this is also on Poshmark. It's just a Maybelline little bronzer. Um, and I just dropped the price yesterday with the closet clear out from $8 to $7. So they did get the discounted shipping, but I don't have to pay the discounted shipping. Uh, so yeah, $7 for that. That came from Via Trading, my Maybelline lot. I will be happy to see that stuff go. I don't think I am going to do any more makeup lots. They're, I mean, they're fun and they're steady sales and like I'm still once a week or so getting one or two sales from it but they're just a buck here and there and it's nothing to get excited about anymore so I tried it if I can get any makeup lots that have some more um, designer higher-end makeup then I would definitely consider it but probably not any L'Oreal Maybelline any of that stuff but I'm gonna get these packed up and then I will show you what sold on eBay all right, so now we have five from eBay. These are all from my main eBay store, and so I have nothing going out today on Bonanza, Ruby Lane, Amazon, or my secondary eBay store, but I will say yesterday, Friday, I shipped out one Amazon sale, one Mercari sale, one Poshmark sale, one Ruby Lane sale. Um, Amazon, Mercari, Poshmark, Ruby Lane two on Poshmark. So I had five items going out yesterday, spread out across pretty much all my other platforms and nothing on eBay. Kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so these are all eBay. 
This is just a Karen Scott new with tags. It's size extra large from Via Trading. This one sold as a result of a sale that I started on eBay yesterday. Sold for $11.74 plus shipping for that top. And then these are Kayadan workout pants. Kind of a bluish purple legging. These sold for $13.77 with free shipping. These are Circus by Sam Edelman. Little slides. They have Havana on this one and good time on this one. Having a good time. These were um, Macy's online clearance and I spent about $6 a pair. I bought two pairs of these and this is the first one that sold, but I listed them in like November so I knew they would take a while and sell for summer. I don't shop a lot of online clearance arbitrage, but with Macy's, I always go to Macy's to look at clearance shoes for myself when I need a new pair of sneakers because I can often get a nice pair of Skechers or New Balance or something for under 20 bucks in their sale and clearance section if they happen to have my size at that time. So normally when I'm on there shopping for something for myself and searching through their clearance items, I will glance through all of the like 80% and up uh, clearance items and see if there's anything that might be worth resale. So when I sell something and say it came from Macy's online clearance, I don't necessarily seek out their clearance items for resale. It's just that I happen to cross something while I'm searching for myself. Um, and I think it's like if you spend 75 bucks or something, you get free shipping. So I normally search until I can hit that mark. This is another one of my fast sales for the week. This bag is a Leffler Randall. If I can get the name to show up in there, I don't know. Uh, this was given to me Tuesday. I picked up some um, donated gift items from my aunt and she gets them also from her sister-in-law. So what I love about my aunt's items is she's a size 10, 12, large. She wears a lot of Talbots, White House Black Market, a lot of nice basic pieces, a lot of fun tunic tops. Her stuff always sells really well because it's brands that people seek out, all in good condition. Sometimes she even gives me new with tag stuff that she just bought and never wore. Um, and it's a good size. So then her sister-in-law has all of the designer items and like I have a Max Mara suit that I need to list. I just listed a pair of her Prada shoes um, and then there were some other like Tracy Reese, a Kate Spade dress. Some of them have minor stains or minor flaws but they're all higher end really nice designer pieces but she's a size zero or two. So um, the trade-off, I get faster sales with the less expensive stuff from my aunt because it's a better size and it's all basics that people are wanting. I've got some really flashy, fun, neon prints and awesome stuff. Ted Baker, Cami, um, a couple of that, those items, but they're all in the extra small, size zero, size two. Some of them she gets altered, so I have to be really careful with taking the measurements and indicating that there may be alterations, uh, like the Max Mara. It's a dress and a blazer and there's some you can tell that she had it altered so it it's trade-off but there's definitely some really nice stuff I should have done a haul for that but I was too excited to get it home and start separating it and listing it so anyway this was one of the items from my aunt's sister-in-law and new retail on it was around $400 that I could find I listed it for $89.99 I think and I accepted a $75 offer plus shipping on that and then uh, also another fast fast sale I listed this yesterday 
and it sold within 30 minutes. It is this fun springy, springy. At a glance, it looks just like little kind of seed bead junky, but it is Scent Marana, Marano. I don't know that you can see that. This was in a shop goodwill box and the tag kind of gets hidden up in the little coils at the top. They pull down and kind of hide the hide the end of the clasp and you can just stretch it to pull it on. But this stuff is expensive. So I listed this one I think also at like $79 or $89 and accepted a $70 offer within 30 minutes of listing it. Um, and it's going to the United Kingdom, which I think they are in the UK maybe. So it's going back home. But I just think it's the fun, really fun, cool thing. And when I pulled it out of the Shop Goodwill box, I never would have guessed that this thing would have had that much value. But when I looked it up, I was impressed. And it's just really cool. So somebody is going to love this. It's going back across the ocean. And that is everything that I have for Saturday. So a couple really good ones, a couple really fast sales, which I love. Doesn't always happen, work out for me that way. But I will get these packed up and show you if anything else sells. All right, guys, it is Monday. I am back. It is dreary, bleak, nasty, rainy, yucky outside. And my weather forecast for the week shows thunderstorm, 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 thunderstorm all week long. Something to look forward to. But I do have quite a bit going out this morning. I have 11 on my main eBay account. So I'm starting with those uh, with 17% battery life on my phone. So I'll kind of speed through them and then hopefully it can charge while I pack them and ship them and show you the rest. So first up, this Pure Lease Blue Lotus. Whoa, where's that glare coming from? 30 SPF moisturizer. This one sold for $12.37 with free shipping. I think that one might have been a <clears throat> Fab Fit Fun, maybe? I don't know. Um, but I just, those are, it either came from Ipsy or Fab Fit Fun, and I take out what I want from those boxes and then sell what I don't think I will use. So. Uh, this is a sweat towel or a, a dish towel, I guess it could be. It is from the American Indian Youth Association. Running strong for American Indian youth. Brand new, still in its um, pack. It's got all sorts of vegetables and spices and peppers, words all over it. Uh, this sold for $4.89 plus shipping. Was given to me in a whole bunch of stuff a long time ago. Listed it just to see what would happen and it sat for a long time and finally sold. So that's what happens. This is a booty shawl. And that is the brand, booty shawl. This sold for losing my place six dollars plus shipping I sent the offer out on this one the pure lease was a uh, sale item so that's where that one came from this is a Brookstone buzz massager this one sold for nine dollars and thirty four cents on sale plus shipping from last summer's via trading pallets that's my last pink one. I still have a couple blue ones to get rid of, but for pink, that's the last one. This is a Free People lightweight top. Different colors on the back, which really drives me crazy. I just think if you find something like maybe in the red or the blue that you think would look awesome with this side, and then the back of it is a complete clash. I don't know. To me, it's a little off. But uh, it is free, people. It is lightweight. It is cute. And it sold for an offer of $10 with 
free shipping on that. Somebody will love it. This is a Juicy Couture little velour purse. The J on the back. This one I sent a $10 offer plus shipping, which she accepted. That's been listed for almost a year now itself. So Then we have this bright yellow Laura Ashley size large lightweight jacket. This one sold full asking price $18.67 plus shipping. That's only been listed for about two months. Then we have this dress. It is New York collection. Brand new with tags. Original retail price of $70. Why? There is no sunshine. I don't understand why. I'm getting a glare. The window is right behind and you would think it's coming in as if there's sun, but... And it's just a super long, I like to call it a teacher dress. Don't know if it's a teacher that bought it, but sleeveless, fun, denim kind of look, but lighter weight, sold for $18 plus shipping. I sent the offer out on that one. That came from my Via Trading higher end clothing palette, or clothing box. And then we have this dress. Fun cheetah leopard print dress. This is cache, size four. I don't know why. Can't see that, although it's pretty light. There we go. Just do it at a different angle. Anyway. Cache, size four, pretty dress, exposed zipper. This one I've had listed for about eight months now and sold with a $20 offer plus shipping on that one. And then we have, this is an amethyst and sterling silver bead necklace. This sold for $22.67 with free shipping. And finally for eBay, for my main eBay account, this Quest for Fire DVD sold on sale for $6.14 plus shipping. So I will get those packed up and be back with more. Well, I actually have more going out today than I thought, and I've had three more sales since I started packing and shipping this morning. Unfortunately, two of them were the exact same item, Ruby Lane and then eBay. eBay's getting the cancellation um, because I need the sales on Ruby Lane, and I'm certainly not going to be that brand new seller that cancels something within my first couple weeks on their site. So, that sucks. But, and it's something, it was listed for over a week now. It was one of the earlier listings that I put on Ruby Lane. So the fact that it sold on two sites within minutes is crazy. I did check to make sure it wasn't the same buyer on both sites. And at least the names and addresses, locations were different. Because I was worried that maybe one person was looking for twinsies with their best friend or something. Um, and found both of them and bought them both because it was within 10, 15 minutes of each other that they sold. I was still shipping the other stuff, then ready to go in and cancel it, and that has not happened. The only other time I've sold an item at the same time on two different sites was a new listing, something I had listed like at five o'clock right before I was leaving work that day, and it sold overnight while I was sleeping on eBay and Poshmark, and I canceled the Poshmark one. But normally I don't have a big issue with it. But anyway, on to my sales. This is my weekly um, jewelry lot. 300 plus pieces of jewelry, a 16 pound box sold for $58 plus shipping, auctioned off starting at 
This week I did two lots instead of one and I did them at about half size, a little over half size. So I'll see if I do a little better cutting it down a little bit and splitting it out into smaller lots but still pretty hefty lots or if I should just keep going bulk. But they've been going from between 30 and 68 I think is the most expensive large 300 plus piece lot that I've sold so far. So, you know, if I get 30 each for the two little lots, then it might be worth me to keep doing it that way. Anyway, this also sold. These are all my small eBay account. There's seven items going on. This is an Anilon, um, like an angel food cake pan, brand new. And I sent a $12 offer, which they accepted, but then they sent me an email and said, I wanted the $12 with $1.80 shipping this, it added up to 24 something, this ain't right. And I don't know where they saw $1.80 shipping, but then she sent a second email and said, well, I went ahead and paid it anyway, I'll take it, without me responding to the first one. So I did respond just a few minutes ago and said, you know, sorry for any confusion. I did see your second email that you still want it. I am going to ship it out. Not sure where she saw a dollar eighty shipping. Not sure who would charge. I mean, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go free shipping. Um, but this is a larger item and definitely over a pound. And I don't know where she saw a dollar eighty shipping. So. Oh well, it's shipping out. And that's from my Via Trading palettes last summer. And then we have this Battle of Gettysburg board game from my stepfather's collection. This one I sent a $45 offer on. They responded with a $38 offer, which I accepted. I had it priced at $60, bucks, but it's one of the first ones I listed from early on in December. Um, and so I figured at this point, if it hasn't sold for closer to the asking price, 38 bucks is good. Turns out it's going to the UK, so they spent, they paid $77 total, which is probably still a little more than if somebody had bought it in the US for 60 plus shipping here. So I'm okay with that. And then we have this little pocket watch looking stretchy back ring, sold for $6.67 plus shipping. This Alex and Annie Vintage America Heart uh, Bracelet sold for $12.67 with free shipping. This Carter's Baby Size 24 Months um, Young, Happy, and Free Patriotic 4th of July Top. That was also one of my Macy's clearance items that I bought a whole bunch of those for like a buck 25 or something each last summer I think that's the second one that sold I've got a whole bunch left but $16.67 with free shipping for that and then finally on my secondary eBay account I have this jean jacket it is Access a Liz Claiborne company and this sold for $16.67 plus shipping for that. So I will get these packed up. I will then pull my one Ruby Lane sale, one Amazon sale, and I've got two or three on Mercari and two on Poshmark, I think. So still a little bit of work to do. All right, so the last of everything, not a whole lot left. This is the little guy that caused me all my problems. He's been listed for almost two weeks now and sold within 20 minutes on both Ruby Lane and eBay. He is going to the Ruby Lane buyer. Get it. I mean, it'd be different if I had just listed him this morning and he sold right away on two different sites be like wow there's people out there really searching for cats playing the saxophone he's just a JJ um, pewter brooch can't really see it but anyway he sold $14 on Ruby Lane had him listed for 18 they sent a 25% off offer which is my 
uh, level where I have it automated to accept. I love sites that let me automate my offers, so that's a plus. This is my one Amazon sale. It is just a little golden book, little yip yip, and it sold for $24.67. It has some wear around the edges and on the cover and has writing on the inside name there and some other ink spots there fully disclosed in the pictures and the listing 2467 I was shocked most of I have some little golden books on there that I picked up at a bag sale and most of them are listed for between like seven and ten dollars with free shipping not a whole lot of money to be made there this one when I listed it it must have come up that everybody else was asking higher prices 25 bucks for that okay so I mean it's vintage it's old maybe it's a title that somebody really missed from their own childhood I don't know uh, that was my Amazon sale Poshmark I have two this is a bikini which I'm not going to get out of its uh, package listed for almost two years now sold I accepted a five dollar offer I get two dollars and five cents for that uh, which I think is close to what I paid I bought a bull clot of liquidation bikinis and none of them were that great uh, but five bucks and I don't have to pay a shipping discount this was also an offer that I received and accepted. It is a J. Crew factory, just a little white ruffled skirt. It is new with tags. $49.50 was the original price on it. it. Has the slash through the J. Crew, so it cannot be returned. But just a nice little white skirt, size zero. I had it listed, I believe, around $20. She sent a $14 offer, which I accepted. So I don't have to pay a shipping discount on that one either. Now, Mercari, I have three items. This is Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar out of a recent Shop Goodwill box. This sold for... I accepted a $6 offer with free shipping on those. But they sold within a day, so I'm happy. I only had them listed with, for $8 with free shipping. Then another one of these microphones. This is um, sold for $70 with free shipping. And I have one more of those to go. And then this Tiger of Malaya. Fall of Singapore war game from my stepfather's collection. I accepted a $24 offer for this. I think I had it down to about $30 and uh, that is plus shipping. So I'll get these packed up and out and see if anything else comes in before, luckily, the mailman's not here yet. So I did ask on Saturday if they've kind of figured out our route um, since the old mailman retired. And he said, no, it's still up in the air and probably will be for a while. But it has seemed like they've been leveling off the inconsistencies of the pickups. It's been more later in the afternoon, uh, again, which I like. So hopefully that continues. But there have been some random. There was one where she hadn't come yet before I left for the day. Um, another couple times they've come in the morning. So I don't know, but he's not here yet. So I'm going to keep shipping. All right, two more and I am done. That makes 27 items that I have packed and shipped for today. Although these two, um, well, one of them's FedEx. I'll drop it off on my way home. And the other one is too late for the mail pickup. 27 items is my new record for a Monday. 25, I think, was the previous record. But 28 is my all-time record that I have never hit again. It's been over a year now since I hit 28, and that was a Tuesday after a three-day weekend. So it's not really comparable to a Monday because there's a whole extra day in there, but I was just desperate. If that eBay sale hadn't been the same thing as the Ruby Lane sale, I would have at least uh, matched my all-time record, but... 27 items sold between Saturday after my mail pickup and Monday afternoon.
not bad. I will take it. Uh, not a record for profit, though. Just a record for number of items shipping out on a Monday. Next week is a three-day weekend, so maybe I can finally beat that 28. Uh, anyway, these both sold on Mercari. This is a Brighton bracelet. You can see the little Brighton swirly marks all on the back and on the toggle. The Brighton has very distinct little ornate twists and twirls and fancy marks on their jewelry. Uh, so this one sold, I accepted an offer of $14 with free shipping. And then, from the tiny, I go up to the massive. This is a Plato Town City set. Huge, that I've had forever. Uh, I had three of them. I still have one of them that's sitting at the booth waiting to sell. The other one ended up going to my two-year-old for Christmas. And this is the third. So the first one that actually sold... And I am, I learned my lesson a long time ago. I'm not buying ginormous things, even if the price is really cheap, unless it's just so well sought after that I'm sure it's gonna sell. Because the shipping cost is atrocious on these, and so there's just no way to uh, entice buyers. But anyway, it sold on Mercari, $21 plus shipping, and since I've had it listed for over a year on Mercari, it's going FedEx and it's in the three to 10 pound range and it's shipping for, I think it was like $9 and 80 cents is what they paid for shipping. So they got a killer deal on shipping because if I were to list this right now on Mercari with their upgraded shipping, they would be paying at least like 15 to $17, somewhere in that range. So. That's good for the buyer at least, and they messaged me before uh, asking how soon I could ship it out, and I said I'd be happy to drop it off today if they paid within the next hour or so, and she bought it right away. So that's everything that's going out. I did just get an email from somebody uh, yelling about their Lego set that I sent out last weekend having three broken. Interrupted by a phone call. Sorry. Anyway, three pieces in his little Lego Hero Factory set that I think was on last week's What Sold video arrived broken. And I feel bad because, I mean, he kind of went off in his email, so I don't feel that bad because he wasn't being very nice about it. But I sent him a refund. He didn't even ask for a refund. He ended his message with, I'm not going to leave you feedback, good or bad. I'm just not ever going to buy from you again. I'm happy about that too. I, I, I just be nice, people. It's not like I purposely broke the pieces before I put. The, you can see in the picture that they weren't broken when I packed it. And what I should have done is stuffed the inside of the Hero Factory container with some tissue paper to keep the pieces from bouncing around. But they don't come that way from the manufacturer when you buy those sets off the Walmart shelf, it's all loose in there, so I don't know how they guarantee that the pieces aren't going to be broken. I mean, I guess they're bagged, so there's less clanging around. I don't know, but I shipped it as it was, and three pieces broke in the process, and I gave him his refund that he didn't even ask for, and I apologized profusely because that's what I do, and now I'm going to move on and get these packed and ready to go and gotta get some stuff listed halfway through my day and I'm just now finishing up my shipping. Thanks for watching everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe, come back for more, and see you later.